Welcome back to the Golden Tea Lounge and welcome to the most scorable round of Golden Tea ever created. It's going to get weird, real weird this week. Uh, we have timed our Break the Scoreboard 3.0 around a little basketball tournament. Uh, you're probably going to call in sick, good move, Thursday and or Friday, just do both. And you're probably going to go play Golden Tea, seems like a good decision. And on Friday when you do that and you play the daily contest, you are going to play uh, just a wildly unique creation. I'm gonna get going because I don't want this to be 20 minutes long, but you see the whole Rattlesnake Ridge, drivable par five, and this is very, very drivable. I think, should be very drivable. Yeah, that's very drivable. Good start, don't have to restart the video. Okay, um, so I'm gonna tap this in for double eagle, and that gets our, our little video off and running. So, what is Break the Scoreboard 3.0? There you go, 598. Uh, great shot points. Um, we have taken basically every drivable par five and or sometimes drivable par five and put them into one 18 hole round. This is Antelope Pass. Uh, I, you should remember this hole. This is probably one of the more manageable drivable par fives we've had. This is actually not a particularly great look for it, but we'll make do, hopefully. Um, so we've taken this. We've taken all these holes, we've done this before, we've put them together. Let me try and make this chip real quick to not embarrass myself. Be good to start with two double eagles. Two double, almost. I'll have to set up for double eagle, eagle. You can do better than that. The setup will be easier than that. Um, the difference between this round, uh, break the scoreboard two, we did some drivable par fours. This, we're going back to our roots, drivable par fives. So we've added three drivable par fives to this mix. I'll get to those in a minute. We've also mixed up the holes. So in the past, it's Laurel Park 18, um, we put like our hardest, beefiest, drivable par fives at the end where you've got some decisions to make, which I do here. I'm gonna go for it because I, I don't really care. Um, we've moved those around a little bit. So we're gonna have some kind of deciding holes early on. So do you wanna go for the easy eagle? Well, then you can go lay up out here. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'd rather embarrass myself on a Golden Tee video. Uh, but the order of the holes, has definitely moved. Oh, I clipped that tree. I don't think I was going to do well anyway. So I'm not going to blame that tree exclusively, but I can blame that tree. So that's part of the, definitely part of the challenge with this. You've got an opportunity to score huge, but also these are intense risk versus reward shots. So if 50 is out there, well, I've, I've messed up two holes and I'm still six under after three. Uh, Coconut Beach, I believe this is hole 11. This is a former design hole winner going on now this isn't um i don't know this is not like super drivable but maybe you, some of you big hitters could do it me i'm just content to probably fire it off in the sand and give myself a decent enough chip to hopefully get it close um so that's what we have going on i mentioned the difference um in these rounds adding rattlesnake ridge into this rotation is huge you have three holes on rattlesnake that essentially can be driven three par fives that can be driven at all times, absolutely all times. This is Pine Coast, actually a great wind, but not necessarily drivable. We're gonna try to give you guys a, hmm, what do I wanna do here? We're gonna try and give you guys an optimal setup on this, by the way, to try and set up as many uh, drivable par fives as possible. But overall, please don't roll back. Just sit right there, that's fine. Even if the vast majority of our fringe drivable par fives are not drivable. I think we have nine or 10, maybe even 11 par fives that are always drivable, no matter what, a handful of others that are gonna be drivable. So you're looking at a round where um, we're, we're expecting potentially to see a 50 under and golden tee. Here's a perfect uh, example of a hole that sometimes can be drivable, Pelican 10. Uh, and we, I honestly, I saved a lot of the beefier holes for later because I don't, I don't want to give it away. Um, these are eagleable holes. Oh, did that clip the tree? Oh wow, that's a disaster. So again, don't do that, but do something different. Now I feel like I got to play hole seven to kind of uh, rebuild my confidence up a little bit. So there it is. Uh, the, the scores are out there for you. Um, the round is out there for you. I played horribly. And I am 11 under through six holes, which could be a heck of a lot better than that. Tons and tons of options. Here you go. Hole seven here. Drivable par five. I believe this is Royal Coach. I hit the tee shot. I'm going to hit the tee shot, and then I'm going to run and hide. 
because it probably won't be good. Yeah, I'm going to hit this tee shot. How do I want to do this? Now I don't want to hit the tee shot. I spoke too soon. Okay, yeah, I'm going to hit the tee shot. So, there you have it. I'm a bad golden tee player. The most scorable course we've ever created is coming on Friday. There's going to be risk. There's going to be reward. It's going to be a lot of fun. We will see you for Break the Scoreboard when you're playing hooky from work this week. Uh, see you next week.